Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Mezco's Pink Skulls Chaos Club box set, and this box is loaded with artwork. The front art is phenomenal. We got a little bit of side art with the skulls saying Pink Skull Chaos Club, and then we have mosh pit art. We got Frankenstein, Alfred Hitchcock, and Joey Ramone just moshing it up. We also have on the other side, we have Steve Urkel moshing it up, looking like he's having a blast. And then this whole box turns into a concert stage, which is awesome. But let's go ahead and get the Pink Skulls out of their box. One thing you're going to notice in the box is the vinyl set because the artwork on this thing is awesome. Got all three pink skulls in this super awesome car. The artwork, again, is just phenomenal on this vinyl setup. It says Stinkle right there. And then on the back, you got the back of the car. You got some meds. It's either about to stash a body or they're removing the body from the trunk. And the oil in the front reverse, which is pretty awesome. And uh, that it's really good artwork. And then you got the inside. The inside has some artwork as well. I just wish it was done a little bit better. There's a lot of dead space that they just sort of like listed all the tracks. But they didn't do as much effort in my opinion. You got the homage in the middle of the, of the actual record right here. Of that old school Maxell commercial. And uh, you got one... You know, that's that's peeing over here and it's the blast is just making the pee fly. I mean, it's still cool. I just I feel like there's a lot of dead space they could have utilized compared to like what they did with the front and the back. Here we have a look at the actual vinyl it comes with. We got the sticker showing the track and that's on both sides. And these are like mini vinyls. They're not like full on full size vinyl records. Um, but as you can see, it's done in this like creamy pink type of vinyl which is really cool now some of you might be like hey i don't have a record player well they actually give you a digital version as well and on top of that if you want to know what the lyrics are we do get a nice list of well the whole all pamphlet of the lyrics of the tracks now i did listen to them and this whole freaking album that they did. I thought it was going to be trash, but Mez did the punk genre justice. I think they did a really good job, had some funny moments in this, and uh, I highly recommend giving it a listen. Just like all the other Mezco 112 collective figures, we get a bag to store all the goodies, but we get one for each Pink Skull Chaos Club member. Each Pink Skull member comes with a very awesome looking stand. The artwork on this is phenomenal. It is a great, great looking stand. But if you want them to be a little bit more dynamically posed, we get the attachment right here. So we get three sheets of these stickers that are like fabric stickers. It has like a little shine to them. They could be used for patches on the figures. But they look pretty awesome. You got the sex squirrels, die free. Bunch of really cool designs. Bunch of Pink Skull designs. Got Chicken Frank right there. Bunch of really cool like flak bag. We got the we got the Miss Zits. So really, really freaking cool patches. I don't really use these stickers, but I know some people say they work really well. I don't mess with them. The first Pink Skull member that we're going to take a look at is the lead singer. Now, some of you might be wanting to know, how do you know it's the lead singer? Well, if you unzip his little pleather jacket, and the, the zippers on these, man, they sometimes work really well. But he has a lightning bolt on his chest. That's how you can really tell. I, I love the head sculpt. They're a little bit big, um, but articulated jaw is really nice. And they're stylized. Like, for this type of cartoony, you know, design, I would expect it to be a little bit exaggerated. But the sculpt work is pretty awesome. Uh, he's in the full pleather jacket. He has fist hands equipped goes into some jeans into some combat boots that are glossy bring it up in here so you guys can really see the the detail in these boots looking really nice and he still has the articulation because they have the brake right there so get the articulation there the rest of the articulation in these guys are pretty much gomez through and through um, so I'm not going to dive into individual articulation. If you guys want to check it out, go check out some other Mezco reviews that I've done. 
you get the idea because Mezco has some of the best articulation out there. So you can take this jacket off, revealing this whole shirt. Um, but the nice thing about this jacket, it's got the Pink Skulls Chaos Club logo on the back. And here we have a look at the bassist or guitarist, however you want to set up your, your crew. And technically, any of these could be any position in the band. I just know from the videos and stuff like that, the one with the pink lightning bolt is the lead singer. But... Uh, this guy looking awesome. He is not angry at all. It's more rounded and and uh, looks pretty awesome. Again, the Pink Skulls logo on the back. He has jeans just like the other one. He has a black t-shirt underneath, but he has some sloppy looking unlaced up combat boots. Looking really nice, nice gloss, but they get the move. They get some up and down but there's definitely no pivot in there because this is all one piece last but not least we have the sus squinty eye looking drummer and uh this head sculpt is definitely unique he's got the squinty eyes like he's on something or he's just suspecting you of something but you can see the little yellow pupils in there again all of these have the articulated jaw which is nice now, this guy stands out a lot more because, yes, he has the leather jacket, but he has a hoodie underneath, and this is a wired hood. So that's how it stays all nice and flat, looking really good. But then his pants are pleather. When you start dealing with this pleather material, I start to worry because I'm afraid, like, since he doesn't have jeans and it's as pleathery, that it's eventually going to, over time, just start flaking because it's, it's, uh, it's that type of material. Looks good, but it definitely has me concerned. And then he has the classic Chucks with the pink laces. Got the Mezco M on the bottom. Does that the M, M on the side? Yeah. Lift up his cuff. He's got the M right there. Now, if you're familiar with Pink Skulls and Gomez, you're going to get a ton of hands. And since we get three figures, we get a shit ton of hands. Now, if you don't want your Pink Skulls to have that cartoony style, they do throw in the original Pink Skulls we got with the first set. We also get three more alternate head sculpts, and these do... Follow the original style of Pink Skulls a little bit, but they are more expressive and they have articulated jaws. So you can really have fun if you don't want them to be so cartoony as you can see. You know, it's a big difference. The heads are, these ones are a little bit bigger, but you can still have fun with the original style of Pink Skulls. Now, the Pink Skulls that are not cartoony have a wash to them, makes those sculpt lines pop and everything like that i wish we would have got alternate necks that had the wash too because that is a bright pink plastic that fits for these guys not so much for those when it comes to accessories i won't be using we get the original rumble society pink skulls striped shirts so those are pretty cool and like a three pack continuing with those original pink skulls we do get a uh, bunch of bandanas we get three of them and then we also get a single like work shirt this one i might use i'm not too sure but you know some soft goods you can use for some other figures but we've seen this type of shirt before i do believe and then the last thing i definitely won't be using is this feather boa i'm sure it's probably wired and everything but i'm not going to be using this at all we do get a lot of triples of accessories like we get three of these sunglasses and three of these like chauffeur style hats the fabric is a matte black and then the brims are all on that glossy black and they look really awesome they actually fit the faces really well we do get some goggles we only get two which is odd i would have thought they would have gave us three but the goggles are pretty shit to be honest like i tried them on all the skulls tried them putting them over the eyes and it just does not look right at all like it just doesn't line up this is the best one because his eyes are bugging out but it it doesn't really fit as nicely it wasn't really designed with that in mind i don't think i think it's more designed to have them up on the forehead like this guy now we do get some one-off items we got a bowler hat here to give them that run dmc vibe and it looks and fits really nicely the matte finish for the fabric and then you got the glossiness for the for the trim that wraps around we also get a nice little like old school pilot's cap here we have the blood splattered hockey mask and this looks awesome now it's definitely a mask you want to use with the skull with the eyes that are more open so you can actually see the pupils through the mask but this thing looks awesome. It's almost like a helmet. It's so big. The way it wraps around the head and everything. Here we have a old school football helmet. I feel like the drummer would be wearing all these weird skull caps and helmets just because he 
he looks a little little off a little bit with the eyes but with the helmet on this one he looks a little pissed off that he has it on but you get this old school football helmet we also get another hat and this one i wanted to bring up close because it has a lot of cool detail it's like a civil war style hat i don't know the name of this type of hat but you got the painted button uh looks really cool but it's got this like intricate design on the top it's a very very cool hat the final head accessory that we get is a gold crown and who seems to be more fit to wear this crown but the lead singer and it's really really cool and goofy at the same time definitely stylized now diving into the non-clothing accessories we do get a milk crate this thing is pretty massive i feel like it's a little bit oversized so it's not true to that 112 scale style but it's still cool because this is something that you're going to be using to hold either some stuff in or you're really going to use this for your drummer's seat speaking of drums we get into the bass drum pedal and this thing looks awesome it's actually made out of a foot sizing for getting shoes um that's sort of cool how they did that tons of detail on there we got the eight ball on top so it's definitely their own take on a bass drum pedal and it actually works so you push it down and it makes it move now to go with that crate for you to sit on and that bass drum we got the drum set and this thing is all made up of all different pieces these wrenches came separately so you use them as weapons or you can just attach them and use them as the stands this stuff can move all up here pivot around ball joints and stuff and how it all pops in even the drum on the top can move around and it's on a ball joint as well so you can really get those poses and it's just done really, really well. We also get a nice looking guitar that's just been beat all the hell. As you can see, it is the uh, rock on fingers. And this is technically a six string guitar, but only five are hooked up because you can see it's snapped at the top with a band aid cover in it. And chunks are missing out of it. We do got some engraving in there. I can't really make out what that says in there. So I'll have to try to zoom in a little bit later. Um, but you got the chunks just missing. You got a nail here holding on the guitar strap. Uh, just tons of detail on it. And then on the back, more detail. The neck's been broken and actually two different necks have been put together to form this guitar. So this thing has seen better days. And then we do have some uh, sort of like a sculpt of engraving in there. Somebody loving somebody. And I can't really... Is it Joni and Chachi, I think? Might, maybe. Yeah, it looks like Joni and Chachi. We get a four-string bass with the skull on it, the pink lightning bolt. This is all sculpted in, looking really nice. We got the bones on the front. It's just a really well-done-looking bass uh, with the le lake, like the pleathery strap that's the same on the guitar. We got a white lightning bolt on the back. Again, I love the dents and cracks and stuff just because these things have been thrown around, tossed around, traveled around the world with, and that's awesome. Here we have the base of the mic stand looking awesome. It's nice and thick plastic, a lot of sculpt work in there, saying Rumble Society New York Hardcore. On the bottom, it actually has the Mezco M on there, a bunch of like anarchy symbols, and uh, lots of sculpt work. It's crazy. It's like, I guess you could have it both ways in a sense. No, not really. The way this is more flat on this side. So you're going to be covering all this detail up because it's going to be on the ground for that mic stand. Now, speaking of the mic stand or the mic itself, uh, we got this big old beat up metal pole and it does pit, like move in these little spots here, even right here. And then the mic can move around too. And the mic is basically the spike brass knuckles. And uh, that can actually come out as well. Diving into some stage props, we do get a overly sized bomb that looks cartoony. Uh, it's got dings and scrapes sculpted into it, looking nice and worn. And it has the wick coming out. And then this thing can pop off. And then you could put the lit wick on there which that looks really nice so it could be a stage prop it could be a real bomb however you guys want to do it but this looks awesome look at the texture actually in the wick we also get a cricket bat with a bunch of sculpted in details it says beamer on it it's got a crack got the grains of wood we got a little bit of blood on the edge but it is a nice accessory 
Continuing with the stage props, or it could be a real gun. We got ourselves an AK without the stock, looking freaking phenomenal. Tons of sculpt work, dry brushing throughout. We got the muzzle flash hole, so if you have a muzzle uh, effect, you can plug it in there. We get an extra magazine because the magazine is removable, and we do got the bullet in there as well. So this piece is awesome, as I am a fan of AKs. Now, being in a band, you got to get those creative juices flowing. So Mezco included six marijuana cigarettes that are not lit and we got six that are lit with the smoke effect coming out and they look great i figured uh the drummer would be the best one to have that set up but it is a cool cool accessory to get especially with the whole rock scene and stuff like that but what bugged me is they didn't give us like this is sort of like a bougie way of smoking a joint like they should have gave us like the pinching fingers like it could have fit in between like some fingers you know, it just doesn't really, I, I guess they they could be tobacco cigarettes or whatever you want to call them. But if they're supposed to be joints, there should have been a hand sculpted that could pinch them. If you're going to be a drummer, you got to have some drumsticks. So we got ourselves six of these drumsticks and they are very thin, but I have them in the gripping hands. There's different ways you can have them posed up with the drumsticks. But a lot of these accessories that we're going over, like with the marijuana cigarettes to the drumsticks, they're very, very tiny and can easily be lost so you guys got to be careful that you don't lose them into the carpet now at some rock shows they still serve uh beers and glass bottles and uh you know there's fights that are going to happen so somebody broke this glass bottle and you can use it to stab somebody or you can just use it as a prop laying on the ground on the stage but still a really cool nice broken glass bottle diving into the booze we got ourselves a 40 dog beer sudsy swill it's a 40 ounce love this thing Look at the beer in there. It reminds you of the, the, the King Cobra days. We get ourselves a six-pack of beers. We get two foaming effects that come over the beer. And then we got two of the spraying, so you can have them spraying on the crowd or on each other. Really cool accessories and effects. Just in case you're not a beer drinker, we got ourselves some Wild Kitty whiskey. And it's extra aged. Comes in this green translucent plastic. And I love how you can see the liquid in this bottle in the 40. It just adds more to these accessories. This pink skull set is just crammed with so many different accessories. We do get a nice gold medallion with a real metal chain. Has that pink skull skull sculpted right into the actual medallion to add to that Run DMC look. Now if the gold medallion was a little too gaudy for you, you can actually go a little bit more punk with this metal chain with the padlock. And it has the Anarchy A engraved right into it. When it comes to the Mezco Pink Skull Chaos Club set, this set is phenomenal some people are saying it's a little pricey well people are buying hot toys that are one one six scale figure with some accessories this is three one 12 scale figures loaded with tons of accessories so you really got to just pick your poison you know collect what you want you know nobody's telling you that you have to buy these but i feel like it's very 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 much worth its money because of the fun and posability and options and figure photography options that you get out of these figures i mean all these accessories can be used with other figures that are in that scale now one part that mezco missed the mark on and it's a huge huge miss on my part you're advertising this set is is punk rock rock whatever you know where are the mohawks at why don't we have a mohawk for at least one of these characters? We don't have mohawks at all. We have them on, on the box for photos and stuff like that. But we don't have a mohawk for one of our pink skulls. Some of you might be saying, well, you know, how are they going to do that? Well, they could do magnets in the head like Plunderlings did. Because Cheddar came with a mohawk that was removable. We could have gotten a alternate head that had the mohawk built into the sculpt. Or if, if people are saying their skulls, they shouldn't have hair. Well, we could have got some metal spikes coming out of their skull being a mohawk. Sort of like uh, that uh, spider punk figure for Marvel Legends. Like, there's a lot of missed opportunity when it comes to really pushing this to the punk level, in my opinion. And a mohawk is definitely it. But other than that, this set is phenomenal. I love it. It's a great set. And that sums up my unboxing and review of the pink skulls chaos club set if you guys are enjoying my content hit that thumbs up 
If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as it helps the channel evolve and grow. Hit the silver bell notification if you want to get an alert when I post up a new video. And I want you guys to check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. Website's down below. The Facebook pre-order group is down below. So make sure you go check that out. It keeps you in the know with a lot of the imports like your MoffX, Figma, Storm Collectibles. So definitely check them out. And most importantly, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.